Hollywood. It's the Tom Mikey Show. Who is this Tom guy? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues. You really care about it's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800. 866. Like is 101, the ongoing on air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1 800 5 800 Tom. It's 1 800 5 800 866. Ryan on Like is 101. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Hey, I'm just calling to let you know I had a call, man. Um, you've saved me over a thousand, a couple, at least a couple thousand dollars within the past six months, man. Um, I've lived with my girlfriend for about three years now, and uh, it seems like when you move in with a the girl, they expect you to pay all the bills. That's what I always tell you. You know, and and you know these stupid guys, they do it. And uh, finally, about six months ago, I, I smartened up and you know started listening to you and said, you know, if you want to live with me in the same house. Then we're going to split the bill, 50-50. And uh, pretty much ever since then, I've had money in the bank, and uh, sh- and she doesn't. And all she does is whine and complain, and now all she does is want my money. You're not so, giving it to her, are you? Excuse me? You're not giving it to her, are you? Hell no, Tom. You're not buying her things, are you? No. Not at all. Um, I don't even know why you need to live with her. I, I really, you know, when I when I first got together, I thought it was all, uh, you know, uh, great. Everything, you know, treated me well, and uh, pretty much realized after uh, after about two and a half years that, you know, she's just here for the money. Well, if she's just there for the money, why are you even there with her? Uh, because she's hot. <laughs> yeah, but why couldn't you just have sex with her? Why couldn't you just be friends with benefits? Why do you need to put up with all the other crap? Well, I, I did get, uh, you know, just, there's a lot more to it than just sex. You know, she helps, to, you know, take care of the house. I do a lot of work. When I come home, I don't want to do that kind it's of stuff. It's cheaper so. to hire a housekeeper. And less stress, too. Yeah. <laughs> they go yeah. away when they're done. All right, Tom. Thank you very much, man. You guys um, still I, live with I, her, though, right? I'm still living with her, and she wants to get married. I see these books laying around the house: bride this, bride that. Oh, and and there you and here you are staying with her. And uh, what about birth control? What kind does she use? She takes the pill every day, as far as you know. Well, I see the little package. You know, that I'm doesn't mean sure. anything. Some missing. <laughs> By the way, I have been with chicks who have the package, and uh-huh. you look closely at the package, and it says Tuesday, but it's Friday. That's not right. Have you ever checked what day she's on? No, I haven't. Why not? I guess I'm a little too trusting. Right. So let me guess. No condoms for you, right? You're right. So when she wants to be your girlfriend and she wants to get married and you say no, what's to stop her from forgetting to take the pill and forgetting to tell you? That's true, Tom. I'm worried now. (laughs) You should be worried. That's exactly who does that. Man. You're right. So it, to... it's time to start planning your exit strategy. Like, what What do you mean? Just basically find a different place or have her move out? I'm, you know, the, Well, the uh, you can't just kick her out. Is she, uh, you have a lease? Do you own the place? What? No, I'm, I'm renting and it's month to month. Great. So you can move out any time. Absolutely. So if I were you, I would find you really particularly like the place you're in. It's particularly unique, hard to find a new one. What? No, not at all. Great. Um, so it's time to find a new place. Don't even let on to her. Do not give her any heads up. Do not give her any warning. Uh, get the utilities turned on, the deposits put down. Get, uh, you know, make a plan for the moving guy to come. Go on one of the cheapies. 
um, and uh, pick a day when you know she's going to be out and have the movers come and take all your stuff. Just split, huh? That's it. This this girl, uh, I don't think I could just take off that easily. You know, she might uh, she might try and you know. She can't do out. it if you don't tell her. Yeah, that's true. But you know, we we definitely know she knows my uh, you know some of my family. She's she's friends with my cousin's wife. So don't tell your family. Tell your family after you're gone. That's true. Why do I need to tell them if they're just gonna you turn don't, and don't uh, t you don't give them your address right away either, because you don't yeah. want them giving it to her. I don't want any flat tires. That's right. You're gonna pick a new place to live that's at least several blocks, if not a couple of miles from where you currently live, and you're going to uh, you know make sure you've got a place with like uh, indoor parking, so you have to get through a security gate to get in. Have all your utilities ready to go. Have your uh, electricity, gas turned on, water turned on, a cable or satellite turned on, whatever, internet, ready to go. And then be prepared to pull the plug and all that. So, by the way, I would be willing to bet that everything in your place, it's all your deposits, right? Oh, correct. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I think she owns one desk in that whole apartment. Right. So you're going to take, you're going to leave whatever is hers there. Mm hmm And you're going to take everything else. Yes. Yeah. And uh, then when you take everything else, you're going to make sure to turn off all the utilities and collect all your deposits on all of those. And, well, can I just have that service switched over? I don't need to collect the deposit. I can just have it switched over. Why, to the new why do you want to give her the deposits? Well, I, I'm, I'm not going to give her to the deposits. I'm just going to have the utility switched over and... and uh, if there is a deposit, which I only have one with the electricity company, then it should just automatically switch over. I don't know if that's automatic. You need to talk to the electric company. All right. And it may not be automatic. You may have to turn the service off and then have it turned on again. I can't help but feel bad, Tom. I feel like I'm abandoning this girl with no money. Well, she was using you. No place to go. She was using you. And she has a place to go. She's got an apartment. You're getting out. You're leaving her the apartment. Yeah, True. You're under, you're under no obligation to stay there. True. Uh, it's a lot to think of, Tom. I, You know, it's hard to say if I love this girl or not, but, you know, I mean, after, you know, feeling like basically, you know, I, it, it's plain as day. I know if she's using me for money. If uh, all of a sudden, you know, everything's, you know, not really working out now that I'm not giving it, you know, all to her and paying all the bills. That's things. right. It's hard. Well, you need to accept reality. You got to bang a hot chick for a while, and you had to pay for the privilege, and you've learned by doing, and now you're going to move on to your next adventure. I hope. It's kind of scary, you know, to uh, get back into the game after three years. I don't know. I mean, it's not Come on, long. Ryan. Come on. Sack up. Get back into the game. What is this, a Just for Men commercial? I uh, see. No. Well, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of ways for me to meet new girls, and uh, as soon as I hit that first one, I'm sure I'll You are in Southern it. California. It is the epicenter for hot chicks. Oh, yeah, that's where I live. I live uh, right in L.A. Well, so do I. So. Step up to the plate. All right, I'm getting rid of her. All right, Ryan. Good luck. Let me, me, uh, let me you know how you make up. Take me out with a bong hit, Tom. All right, Ryan, here you go. Chris on the Tom Likas show. Hello. 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 Hey, Dad. How you doing? Son, I'm doing great. Hey, you know what? Uh, long time, uh, first time, Tom. I got a, I got a big problem. Give you short, yeah, long story short. Been with her since I've been 21. I'm 26 now. Um, things have been real rocky. Beautiful girl, great girl. But uh, you know, the other, the other Friday, she got mad at me. She got upset. She cut herself then she's got problems. And if you continue to be in love with somebody who's got problems, you've got problems. I think you're right, Dan. So, I think you're right. you know what you I, need you to do. What? I'm, uh, the, the thing that, that I'm struggling with, I'm, I'm supposed to be going down there tomorrow. Uh, I live in so SoCal. She lives in Las Vegas. 
I'm trying to get, I'm don't trying you know to get there's no such thing? A, don't you know there's no such thing as a long distance relationship? I've been doing it for two years, so I've been. I guess I've been. Have you been monogamous? No. <laughs> What's the point of it? Well, I don't because I, I figured I, I do my thing, get get things straight, and you know, and have a little arm candy at the end of the whole game. But why? Why do you even call it a relationship? Because she don't know. But but why do you call it a relationship? Because she don't know. But so why are you telling to me it's a relationship? I'm not trying to, Dad. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even want to call up and lie to you. It's I mean, just, you know, you, you know, you, you, I, I do care about the girl, but obviously she's crazy. Well, if obviously. she's crazy, you need to cut that off. You Do you need that drama in your life? No, sir. Do you want phone calls coming in late at night from suicide protection or prevention? Or do you, do you want phone calls coming in from a hospital? No, sir. I, you know, I just had that last Friday, and it's it's been tough to deal with. Well, well, that's what I'm talking about. You know, I've been listening to you long enough to know better. Do you really, need Do you need this in your life? No. Then you I need don't. to get it out of your life. You know, it <clears throat> kind of like the last call. You know, you feel bad about it, about the girl. You know, but well, like my family has told me, it, it's, it's for her family to deal with, not for me. I'm not well, married. No. Now kids. you see, I met you two minutes and eleven seconds ago, and your family says the same thing I say. I just wanted to hear from an expert. I'm telling you, you don't need this in your life, and you need to get it out of your life immediately. Nothing good will come of this. They'll never get better. Is that what you're saying? You are not a therapist. You couldn't heal her if, if she could get better. I appreciate it. All right. You have no expertise in this area. By the way, I have no expertise in this area. Yeah, I, I, you know, but I know that you understand men. You no, understand no, but what I'm saying is if I were with a woman who had these kinds of mental uh, problems, uh, I, I don't need that in my life. Yes, sir. Like the woman who threw my uh, remote control through the wall, made a hole in the wall. There's no fixing that. There's no fixing that. No. no. It's, it's going to be for the rest of my life. She's gone. That was seven years ago. She's gone. Well, it's for the rest of the life that you have with her until you finally realize that what I'm telling you is true. You know, Tom, I called this up just wanting to hear some advice, but honestly, like, it, it's getting through to me. And I appreciate it. I really do. Okay. I, I needed to hear from you, Dad. You know what you needed to do, son. Thank you, sir. Okay. Take care. Tom, 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 Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. My ex called me the other day. She was saying, oh, I'm having problems. I need to talk. It's been two years. She has two guys who she doesn't know who the, her baby father could be. And that would have been me, too, if it wasn't for Likus 101. It's Likus 101 on the Tom Likus Show. It's 101. I am your professor. 1-800-5800-TOM. Bird. Let's say hi here to Mike on the Tom Likus Show. Hello. Tom, are you there? No, I left the room. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear it. Tom, I've called a couple times uh, back in the day, and I never wanted to call you dad, but today i got to call you dad because I need your advice. Okay. Um, listen to you for a very long time. I followed Like Us 101. I got married about a month after my 30th birthday. Uh, fell in love with a girl, and before that I was banging chicks. Did what you told me to do, and it worked. I mean, it worked to perfection. And... I mean, I know you don't, I, I'm not going to say you don't agree with marriage, but you've always said at least wait till you're 30, I believe. And, and, and really, right I, right I, right I think right that right you shouldn't get married. Uh, if, if you can avoid it, you should avoid it. I, I say this as someone who's been divorced four times. I think you should avoid it. That's what I generally say. I hear you. Um, I thought I found the one, well, I, I, I felt that I found the one that I wanted to be with. Uh, we were married nine months, and she was in a car accident and was killed. And that was about uh, going on almost nine months ago. Um, since then, and, and like I told Dino, I don't want to turn this into a, a mushy-mush story. I, that's not what I'm saying. Um, I have a lot of friends. I make good money. I own my own home. I own my own toys. Um, my friends have set me up with girls. In the last two months, I've been on probably like six dates. And they've all been beautiful women. And I banged two of them. And when I when it was over, Tom, I just I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to act. I just wanted him to get that f out. That's how I feel most of the time. Well, I mean, I just I felt so out of place, and right now I just feel out of place. And I honestly just need your advice. I mean, 
Well, I think that's going to be, I think that's natural for a period of time. I, I, you know, it won't be like that forever. Um, I know people who have had, uh, not the same, but, but similar situations where a spouse died and they didn't feel right about dating and they didn't feel right about having sex with people and feel right about having fun of any kind. Um, you were not married 20 years or 15 no. years. So the adjustment period, um, I'm not trying to be cold about this. I'm just saying the adjustment period wouldn't be like, you know, if, if your mom died and your dad had to adjust to it. I understand. Okay. It's different. Uh, so what is your question? What do I, I mean, what's the next, I mean, like I said, I, I, I have friends that set me up constantly. I have, I have, you know, so-called girlfriends that I have actually been friends with for a long time. Uh, that are married, but we've just been friends, and because they're my buddies' wives, and I have girlfriends that I know want to be with me, but right now I just don't feel like I want to be. I, I know if all I had to say was yes. Well, just, look, look, having, I want to move on. I want to move on. Right. I just don't know what to do to move on. Well, first of all, having sex is something you should do for fun. Okay. If it isn't fun. There's no obligation to be humping every night. Um, if if you're sad and you're not enjoying yourself, it's perfectly okay to take yourself out of the game and stay out of the game for a little while, while you figure out how you feel. You figure out what you want to do with your life, where you want to go. You're not going to be like this forever. There will come a time when it will it, it, you will not only survive but thrive. You'll go on. But, but the bottom line here is that you should do what feels good to you and don't do what doesn't feel good to you. Okay. And that means also do not fall in love with the next person you have sex with. No, I totally agree with that. I know that. Have complete gate. control, please. I know that out of the gate from just listening to you from as long as I have. Yeah. Believe so, me. So you want to, but the thing is, and I, as much as I'm a, uh, much as I'm a horn dog and everything, uh, my my bottom line is that um, if there have been times in my life when I've been sad or angry or depressed, and I've had those times in my life, those are times I kind of step out of the batter's box for a while, okay, and do other things uh, that I might find interesting or refreshing or rewarding, uh, you know, like my career. Work hard, get my finance. Stuff. Well, you got to take your mind off stuff. But what I do is I call it looking at the infrastructure of, of my life, you know, and you make sure that everything is. You're at a. You're comfortable at the home where you're living. You're comfortable with your finances. That your career is going in the right direction. Make sure you keep the basics. Okay. Make sure you keep the basics. Okay. Uh, so that uh, when you are ready to get into the game again, that that all that stuff is is running smoothly. Okay, I can do that. And that is something that will take you not only take your mind off because you don't want to necessarily take your mind off. You just want to have a feeling that your life is normal and going to exactly. continue. And that's one way to do it is to make sure you've got everything in order. Exactly. I just want to feel normal again. That's all. Right. So what I'm telling you is, and I'm, you know, as you know, my advice to you guys is always to get laid at any cost. Do whatever you have to do. Just don't spend money. And don't, but what I'm telling you in your position is you just need to do what feels good. And if having sex doesn't feel good, it's okay to stop. Okay. You don't have to feel obligated to keep going because everyone's trying to set you up. Okay. It's nice of them to try to set you up by the same token. It's a little little creepy that everybody's so anxious to get you hooked up again. <laughs> That's how I felt, too, exactly. That's how, you know. And these, these women, they were friends with my wife at the time. And right. that's exactly how I felt. It was like, whoa, it's a little it's a little soon. I can understand it was a year from now. We're talking seven months from now. I just I felt the same. Well, exactly. you tried it. Doesn't feel good to you. Okay. So pull back a bit. And do the other things I'm talking about. You okay. know, just check check your bills, make sure they're paid. Check your debts, make sure you're telling me you're doing well financially. Uh, make sure all that stuff is pulled together. Make sure you're comfortable in your home. Uh, if for some reason it, it gives you bad memories, maybe it's a good time to think about looking at another place to live. If if you want to yeah. do that kind of thing. I think you're right there. I've, I've, I've been thinking about that for the last month, yeah. You know, it might be, the, here's the time to do it. I know you're right. It's a buyer's market. 
I mean, it, well, I wasn't even talking about that. It is a buyer's market, and uh, the, it's a time to do it for that reason. But also, um, this might be the time that you're thinking to yourself, this this gives me bad memories, makes me feel bad, contributes to my sadness or depression. Might be time to look at, uh, you know, changing it up a little bit. Okay, I feel you. Okay. Get a place with a great view or a great pool or a great jacuzzi or get into a place with uh, a good young crowd and, uh, you know, furnish it and, and, and put put all of yourself into doing something like that for a while. And and uh, what you're doing is you're rebuilding your life. And, it, it, you know, for me, my home is an analogy for me. If you come to my house and it's a mess, chances are I've been having a few bad days. If you come to my house and it looks great... Chances are I'm great. That's uh, true. Yeah, you're right. So this is a good way to rebuild your life. How about if you looked for another place to live, found it, furnished it, did it on your own, your taste, the way you like it, and uh, once you've got something you're proud of, you might want to start inviting people over just because you want people to see it, and that might be the natural way to glide back into the game when you're ready. That's a damn good point. I never thought of that. You're absolutely right. All right. And when you're hey, you're happy to the way you're at, and yeah, you invite people over. That's absolutely. I agree. Because you're not just showing people your place. What you're saying is, look how I'm happy okay. and together yeah. I am. Look, I'm okay. All this happened, and I'm okay. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Well, Tom, thank you very much. Call me anytime, Mike. Thanks, Dad. All right, son. Okay. Take care. Wow. Hmm. I didn't want to take that one lightly. That was important. That's a tough situation to be in. But I understand uh, because I I haven't had that particular situation happen, but I've had situations where I felt sad or depressed or I just didn't feel like going on dates or going out and getting laid or any of that stuff, and I needed to find something else to fill my life for a period of time. And that's when I built up a great home, and that's when I... Uh, I uh, got my finances together at times in my life when I needed to feel like the infrastructure was together. So, I hate to get too serious for too long, but every once in a while you get a call like that. All right. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Here is um, Barbara. Barbara on the Tom Liga Hello, Show. Tom. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is, like you said, Barbara. Um, I'm in Brush Prairie, Washington. Uh, I have a question for you. Yeah. If you, well, okay, I know you've been married four times. I think probably you were in love with those women. If you fell in love with another woman and wanted her solely, would would you tell us? Um, I would tell the truth because, first of all, it's too easy to find out. I did have a girlfriend uh, who lived with me back a few years ago who I talked about on the air. Right. And um, it was a monogamous relationship for a period of time. And, uh, yes, I did uh, did discuss that, and I would again. Okay. I, I Have you been close other than that? Have I been what? Have you been close to it other than that one? Have I been close to it? Close to wanting to get married again? Oh, no. 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 Uh, I know how you talk against it. I just wondered if maybe, no. you know, by chance. No, I have very much enjoyed not being married, and I have very much yeah. enjoyed the time I've spent living alone. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I understand. I like okay. doing my place. I mean, I did my place my way. I did a $2 million renovation on my house, and uh, during part of that time, I had a girlfriend living with me, and part of that time, I didn't. And uh, I've been able, uh, in her absence, to do everything my way, and I have loved it. Loved it. Oh, okay, then. Well, thank you very much, Tom. All right, darling. Thank you. A little out of the demo. What are you going to do? From Brush Prairie, Washington, listening on the Internet. Where is Brush Prairie? I should have asked her that. No, she'd probably tell me. We'd be here all night. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Like Us 101 with your professor. This is your chance to call in and get your questions answered. Scott on the Tom Like Us show. Hello. Hello, Dad. How's it going? Doing okay, son. Well, uh, you know, uh, you know, they, they say that when the, teach, when the student is ready, the teacher will, will appear. That's right. And I, feel, I feel like I'm ready. Okay. 
Um, yesterday, my girlfriend broke up with me for a year and a half. Uh, she was a single mom. I'm waiting. And uh, it was just like right out of the blue. You know, she gave me a, a hundred reasons. And, you know, I kind of saw it coming, though. I kind of saw it coming. That she was getting. She moved out to Orange County. We. I live in the desert, you know, out uh, towards, like, Indio area. Right. And uh, she moved over with her brother, and, uh, you know, she got distant with me right when she moved out. And, uh, you know, I was thinking you could help me out with the conspiracy of the poon. What do you mean? Well, she gave me all these reasons about why, you know, she wanted to break up with me, but I don't really feel like she was telling me the real reason. Why does it matter? Does it matter? What's that? Does it matter? I don't know. I mean, I think that, uh... Oh, you, you, you're the only one I can ask. Yeah, you know, I think that it does matter. I think that, you know, maybe she moved out there and, uh, she's thinking about hooking up. You know, but she's going to make me out to seem like a loser. Why do you care? Why do I care? She dumped you. Right. So yeah, why do you no. care what the reason is? I, know, tell, I, I tell you not to get with single mothers. I tell right. you not to do that. You did it anyway. I thought I was getting away with something. You know, it's well, my, you, you, listen to you, you, thought, you thought you knew more than I did, didn't you? Well, I thought that, you know, you know how you think you can get away with it? You know, you do something illegal and you kind of, you don't get caught. Well, you didn't, did you? I got caught. I, I'm saying you didn't get away with anything, did you? No, I didn't. Well, you know, so I told you not to do this. You did it anyway. And now you can't believe it happened. It happened all of a sudden. That's how it happens. Who cares if it happened all of a sudden? Yeah, well, you know, it's kind of strange. I mean, I play in a band with her stepdad. I play in another band as well with my buddies out in uh, Cabazon. And uh, she wanted to tap it all of a sudden because she didn't want you interfering. Yeah, like she's got something else going on. She probably does. You're right. So what? You know, I haven't cried about it or anything, you know. Good. It's you know, I, the last girlfriend that uh, that I had for about a year was hell, and uh, you know, I really that really messed me up. And this time around, for some reason, I'm just like able to like I'm a little tougher. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know why why you're just not having girlfriends. You're a musician, can't you get girls? You know, I suppose I can. You know, why do you need single mothers? Well. You know, we went out on the first date, and uh, I took her out to see the uh, the son of the Almond Brothers over in Yukaipa, and uh, got home, and uh, you know, she gave it to me, and I guess I was kind of stuck. I, again, I don't know why you need to be with a single mother. I just don't understand that part. Yeah, you know, it's it's, it's easy to be a sucker, you know. I mean, you're a musician. Uh, most musicians I know don't make money. <laughs> they, they think they're going to make money. They'd like to make money. They get something for playing a gig, but certainly not enough. The primary benefit of being a musician is getting laid. You're right. So you have chicks available to you every night. Correct. So why do you need to settle down with any one of them, especially a single mother? That's true. You know, I don't know. You get you get kind of caught up in the whirlwind, you know? Stop being caught up in the whirlwind. This was no prize you had. Okay. You're lucky you didn't knock her up. Yeah, well, you know, we, we uh, you know, you know, I don't have any kids. I'm 35 and I don't have any kids. But you I'm wanted to married. have kids? No. All right. No way. Now, that's the kind of woman who has kids. Right, right. She didn't want to have kids either. That's what she told you. You're right. It's Hang on a second, of... Scott. Liza, what did you want to say to Scott here? Hi, 
Hi, Tom. You are an amazing role model. I am 23 years old, and I'm listening to this guy on the radio. I'm laughing to circle. I had a pullover. I had my freaking Bluetooth on. And homeboy, just move on. There's other chicks. Get laid. Have fun. Don't mean it. A woman who has a child and you're not other of, just get out of it. That's your, That's the short end of the stick. That's it. Right there. I'm just... Listen to Tom. Go get laid. Have fun. You're 30 years old, and you'll have Viagra when you're 50. Keep going at it, boy. I hear you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Trust me. I just got out of a relationship myself. I <laughs> was a complete loser. I st- I've list- been listening to Tom since I was 16 years old. And, yeah. yes, I'm hot. I have the game on. I go to school. I juggle a job. I have a house. And you know what? Tom, I love you. Daddy... You are you are amazing. I love that. <laughs> but hey, Tom, can you take? Get, uh, it wasn't a, it wasn't a negative uh, backlash. <laughs> I mean, at first it was like, okay, so she left. Okay, first when a girlfriend leaves you and moves to another somewhere else, obviously it's a starting time of breakup. Just let her go. That bitch can find someone else. Absolutely. Good point, Liza. John like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. A fat girl's kind of like a scooter, okay? It, it, they're fun to drive until somebody catches you. It's the Tom Likey Show. Oh, yeah. Like us 101, I am your professor. At 1 800 5 800 Tom. Trace on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Hey, I got to tell you that uh, call with that young man that lost his wife. Uh, Mike. Yeah. That was, you know, I listen to you all the time. Uh, that was the best call I ever heard on your show. Wow, thank that, you. That was the best call I ever heard. You know, after you, you actually, you know, as much as you uh, help guys get laid, and trust me, you've helped me, uh, it was cool that you said, told him that he could take himself out of the game. you got to be willing to do that sometimes, because oh, yeah. what is the point? You you can get really, I, and I know this from my own experience, okay? I probably I know, have it, too. I know that when I was a victim of infidelity in a marriage, I had sex with any woman who would have sex with me. Yep. 24-7. I was always on the clock. I was always available. And it did not make me happy. It made me more miserable. And I had to take myself out of the game for a while. And I'm glad I did. I I did the same thing. Yeah. and, 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 And how you, you know, your home is your base. You pay your bills. You take care of yourself, you get yourself happy, and then you're ready to get back in the game. That's right. You, you get the infrastructure. To, you know, it's like if your house burned down, you gotta, you got to build the house back up. Yep. And that's the foundation. You don't need the distractions of some woman. That's right. You don't. And and you know what? There's And that's the good thing is these guys can learn, too. It's just not a. It's not a bad thing to take yourself out of the game for a while when you don't feel like it. You exactly. Should, now, as much as I love getting late. Oh hell yeah! If you're not having fun, it's time to take yourself out of the game. But but you made that point. If exactly if it's not fun, right? And sometimes it's so much fun you can't get enough. That's right. And other times it's not. And you know what? It was it was the best call you ever did. Well, thank you for that, Trace. Best call you ever did. And I'm a, and I'm a huge fan. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Tom. Appreciate the call. Let me get Greg in here on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Tom, how you doing, buddy? I'm okay. Hey, listen, I'm calling to back up the last caller, Trace, on the call to Mike. I, I got to tell you, bro, that thing almost brought a tear to my eye. For for, for all the casual listeners that like to call you up and bash you. And, and and question your morals, and uh, you humanized yourself on that one. And, and not that you need to, but you did. And that was just the best I've ever heard. And I've been listening for over 10 years. 
Wow. And that, it's choking me up right now. I mean, that was incredible. Incredible. Uh, there's no therapist on the face of this earth could have given him better information. And that's just incredible. I, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think what people need sometimes is to just talk to a guy. Absolutely. And for whatever it's worth, I, I don't know how many other people out there you touched, but you touched me on that one. And I've been an avid listener. For all, so for all these casuals that like to draw their own conclusions and, you know, stuff like that, it's just, if that, if that doesn't change everything, you know what, then you don't need them. <laughs> uh, I've never worried about people having objections to the program because the I, hardcore listener like you, you know what this show is all about. Absolutely, and I know what it's all about, and and uh, and that was just incredible. I mean, you can take that one to the bank, baby. It's that, that's what it's all about, right there. Uh, great information. I think we lost you there, Greg, but I really do appreciate the call. Thanks a lot, Mike, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Mike, I've uh, been listening to you for about a year now. Love your show, love the advice, but today you have totally blown uh, blown everything out of the water with the advice you've given. One to the guy uh, that you just spoke to about uh, you know moving on with his life, and also to the girl earlier who had the abusive boyfriend. You you just gave fantastic advice today, and I wanted to congratulate you. Thank you for that. Yeah, I, I mean, you you have helped me get so much asked, and you've just done numbers for helping me with my career. Uh, and yeah, man, just uh, keep up the good work and blow me up. Here you go, Mike. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, here's another Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. Mike, how are you? Doing great. Well, aside from uh, your uh, your great advice that you've been giving to other people who actually need it, I'm uh, I'm about 16, and uh, I've been with this girl for six months, and she's just, like, turned me into it. She's completely with me, you know. I, I've been... Watch your mouth. We're on the air. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, but, yeah. And then uh, the things haven't really been working out because she's, like, not human, I guess. Uh, she... Why do you have a girlfriend? Exactly. I'm 16. I know. It's ridiculous. So what are you doing? Stop it. Uh, and then to make things better, um, last night... I, By the way, you didn't answer my question. Why do you have a girlfriend? Because I'm young and reckless, you know? That's not reckless, okay? Uh, being young and reckless means you're out there uh, with anything that moves. That's true. Speaking of which, last night this girl that I've been even more interested in knowing her for like 20 minutes than I have and been with the other girl for six months. Uh, yeah, she took my virginity, man. And I just don't know what to do because I, I tried to end it with the other goody two shoes girl and it's just hard because her birthday is on a Wednesday. Oh my, <laughs> stop it, stop it. You're killing me. You're you so think? whipped. Uh, I am. It's ridiculous. Well, uh, are you going to be a man or are you going to be a pussy? That's a good question, Tom. Uh, you have no, clearly have no game. Obviously. Well, I've you, you long enough for that yet. Well, you need to develop some game, son. And how do you suggest I go about doing that? Well, start acting like a man. To stop tolerating this crap. So, basically, I just wanted the shirt that I should ditch the stupid chick. Uh, you should, there are no girlfriends at your age. 16, there are no girlfriends. All right, man. I'll take your word for it. Uh, you want to take me out with a bong hit? There you, you go. go. All right, Mike, here you go. Our email address. It's my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likes Show.